Hello, people. I have arrived today with some important information regarding transhumanism. I personally was always an advocate of being, you know, half machine, half human, improving our consciousness and the entire human race with technology. When I was younger, I thought that would be a really cool idea. With all the recent news and things that are happening in the world, I think that the idea of transhumanism is a terrible idea. I always thought, you know, the being able to plug our brains into like a super consciousness so our con so we could live forever technically, like even if our body dies, we could transfer our, you know, our soul into the supercomputer, but I think the people that are in control are already trying to do that with the with the microchip and the internet of things and 5G of course. So yeah, I found this uh, I found this video on transhumanism and it's some crazy shit. So enjoy. Transhumanism is the name of a movement that claims to support the use of all forms of technology to improve human beings. Adoringly called Human Plus or H Plus by its cult followers. H Plus is also a magazine dedicated to transhumanism. Take a look at a website called Humai and see that this is already being worked on and it's not a joke. Go look at the frequently asked questions. The answers are disturbing, to say the least. It is far more than just a bunch of harmless and misguided techie nerds dreaming of sci-fi movies and making robots. It is a highly organized and well-financed movement that is extremely focused on subverting and replacing every aspect of what we are as human beings, including our physical biology, the individuality of our minds, and purposes of our lives, and the replacement of all existing religious and spiritual beliefs with a new religion of their own, which is actually not new at all. The term transhumanism was coined by biologist Julian Huxley in 1957, who defined it as man remaining man, but transcending himself by realizing new possibilities of and for his human nature. Julian Huxley was the brother of Aldous Huxley, who you may know as the author of a very famous book, Brave New World, which is a vision of the future that most people view as the New World Order. Transhumanists believe they are working toward a new and improved existence, leaving everything we have ever known in the past, welcoming a new golden age of super beings. They want to become an entirely new species, transcending what we are as humans using radically advanced technology to achieve their goals. Let's look at a few of the primary concepts and goals of transhumanism. One of the primary concepts of the transhumanist agenda is the hive mind a type of collective consciousness where individuality is stifled, a state of conformity. One of the early transhumanist elites, along with Julian Huxley, was Sir Charles Galton Darwin, the grandson of Charles Darwin, who founded the theory of evolution. Here is one of Charles Galton Darwin's quotes relating to the hive mind. The artificial use of hormones has already been shown to have profound effects on the behavior of animals and it seems quite possible that hormones, or perhaps drugs, might have similar effects on man. For example, there might be a drug, which, without other harmful effects, removed the urgency of sexual desire, and so reproduced in humanity the status of workers in a beehive. Or there might be another drug that produced a permanent state of contentment in the recipient. After all alcohol does something like this already, though it has other disadvantages and is only temporary in its effects. A dictator would certainly welcome the compulsory administration of the contentment drug to his subjects. The founders of transhumanism had elitist views about what humanity should be. This human beehive concept has been envisioned by the ruling elite class throughout history as an ideal society. 
the ultimate slave race, scientifically designed to conform, obey, and serve the needs of the elite. There's a movie from 1927 called Metropolis that pretty much depicts this whole idea. If you've seen it, then you know what I'm talking about. Transhumanists envision this hive mind as being possible when all people across the world can link their minds together using technology, creating a symbiotic existence through the new superintelligence of this collective hive mind. They refer to this collective superintelligence as the singularity. MURG, or MURG, is the acronym that transhumanists use to refer to the Mind Upload Research Group. They believe that the hive mind or singularity that they are working toward will occur when technology exists that will allow humans to upload their minds to a universal artificial memory device so that the combined intelligence of all our minds will create this new super intelligence that is the singularity or hive mind. The cult of transhumanism believes that instead of worshipping fictional gods, we should seek to become godlike ourselves. They think that the body is weak, but the mind can be forever and have eternal life through technology. They are selling transhumanism to the masses using psychological warfare. Psychological warfare is defined by the U.S. Department of Defense as the planned use of propaganda and other psychological actions having the primary purpose of influencing the opinions, emotions, attitudes, and behavior of groups in such a way as to support the objectives. The fact is, the mass media is desensitizing us to their goals and in some cases brainwashing us not only to accept transhumanism, but to desire and love it. Hollywood movies, TV shows, music videos, and video games are all responsible for programming us in this way. For instance, movies like Chappie, Transformers, and even Short Circuit try to get us to root for and essentially fall in love with the idea of a conscious robot. I'm not religious by any means, but I noticed that Chappie goes out of its way to make Christians the enemy. The main antagonist of the movie is a Christian man that believes robots should not be in control of justice or anything else for that matter. Religion or no religion, there is nothing good or beneficial about the way that we are being systematically desensitized to accept a variety of destructive and dangerous ideas, including transhumanism. Hey everybody, this is ODD. I have something very interesting today that caught my attention. Shout out to Ephesians 6 YouTube channel. I will link the video that inspired this one in the description. So let's jump right in. The term I am seems to be quite powerful and is used more often than any of us even think about. Before researching this, it was the furthest thing from my mind. Just a quick search of I am revealed many things including a movement that believes the phrase has healing power. Most of you should be familiar with the Invictus Games logo that has a yellow I am in the center. It's pretty hard to miss, but we will get back to that. Is anyone familiar with the pop star Will I am? Well, this is where I got hooked because I've looked into Will I Am in the past and I found that he is admittedly a futurist, meaning that he is big on the development of future technologies. Not to say that this is inherently bad, but when you understand what I Am actually means, then it changes your perspective pretty quickly. So what does I Am mean? I asked my brother Nicholson1968, and here's what he had to say. When God revealed his name to Moses, he revealed himself as YHWH, all caps, or Yahweh, which is best translated as I am that I am. Here's the exact verse from Exodus 3.14. And God said to Moses, I am that I am. And he said, thus, you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. So right there, everything began to make sense, and that's what I want to go over. So thanks to Nicholson for that. Without him, I would still be trying to figure this stuff out. Anyway, now I am means God. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Will I Am owns a company called I Am Plus that sells just a couple of technology-based products so far. One of them is Bluetooth wireless headphones called Buttons. And they also sell a smartwatch called a Dial. 
When you go to the About section of I Am Plus, it says this, Founded by innovator and global music artist Will I Am, I Am Plus is a Hollywood-based technology company whose mission is to create technology hits that create a ripple effect across pop culture. Our vision is to create a community of creatives and coders and believe that through music and technology as the first step, we can usher in a powerful new era built on AI. Artificial intelligence, of course. So this is obviously a pro-transhumanism company. Not to mention, H Plus is the abbreviation for transhumanism, and there is a magazine called H Plus dedicated entirely to transhumanism. So now we are starting to see the connection with Will I Am, his company I Am Plus, and the H Plus transhumanism movement. On the surface level, Will I Am seems like a harmless pop artist that makes music for little kids, but it goes much deeper than that. In fact, when you really pay attention to his music videos, you see a lot of transhumanist symbolism. It even shows in his work with the Black Eyed Peas. And this is all conditioning people to accept the transhumanist agenda, especially young children, because that's pretty much the only people that listen to Will I Am and the Black Eyed Peas. Side note, the logo of the new show Westworld looks similar to the Will I Am logo. Not that they were meant to be the same, but being that they are both about transhumanism makes it interesting. Best believe Westworld is playing its role in the agenda. They didn't just turn a 1973 movie into a 2016 television series to be creative. Anyway, let's look at the Invictus Games logo again. I Am, dead smack in the middle. What does it mean? Well, Invictus is a poem from 1888 by William Ernest Henley. Notice his name is William, Will I Am. Maybe a funny coincidence, but maybe not. You never know. So I won't read the entire poem, but the last lines say, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. It sounds very innocent and inspiring, unless you know what it means. It means bypassing God and cheating death. The elite have been trying to find ways to live forever for a long time now, and they are getting close. I am means hijacking God's creation and changing it so it can defy death, which is not natural. We are meant to live and die. It's as simple as that. I hope you're getting the picture, and we do have a little bit more to go over. Let's start with Beyonce and her album, I Am, dot dot dot, Sasha Fierce. At first glance, this doesn't seem to have anything to do with transhumanism, but the reason I kept looking into this is because of the dots. I Am, dot dot dot, Sasha Fierce. The dots tell me that I Am is meant to stick out. So I looked around a little, and sure enough, I found an ad for the Beyonce 2009 I Am tour, with her portrayed as a cyborg. I also found a picture from a performance where she was dressed like the android from the 1927 movie Metropolis. In fact, Metropolis is one of the very first dystopian movies about transhumanism and still shows up in a lot of today's pop music. In the movie, there is an inventor who creates a machine man that he considers to be the man of the future. The android has the ability of taking the form of any person, and the inventor says that no one will be able to tell a machine man from a mortal. It blows my mind that the transhumanist dream was already present back in the 1920s. And today we see Beyonce, Kylie Minogue, Janelle Monet, Christina Aguilera, Lady Gaga, and many more paying homage to the metropolis, whether they are in the know or not. Speaking of Lady Gaga, she got her name from a 1984 song by Queen called Radio Gaga, where the music video is all about the movie Metropolis. There's even part of the video where Freddie Mercury's face is on the android. I just can't believe how deep this all goes. I Am is much bigger than we all think. Let's check out a company called Humai. This company is dedicated to figuring out how to upload people's consciousness into computers in order to live forever. What's interesting is that Humai backwards says, I am. You can't make this stuff up. This transhumanism agenda is 100% satanic and luciferian, and it doesn't matter if you believe in that kind of stuff. The scary thing is that they do believe it, and they are acting on it. 
One day, everything in this world that was once natural will be synthetic and without a soul. Again, whether you believe in God or not, they do, and they are knowingly and actively corrupting his creation to the core. At least that's what they think. Even if you're like me and you can't bring yourself to have faith, this whole agenda affects everybody and truly takes away from the natural beauty of men and women and the world that we live in. So that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know if you have any connections to the term I am. For deeper and more insightful videos about transhumanism, check out Nicholson 1968. This is ODD. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Transhumanism is the idea that man is merging with technology. Transhumanism is a term used for a broad range of ideas that technology is greatly enhancing human capabilities. This means everything from bionic limbs, brain implants, artificial intelligence, to even someday uploading our minds to the internet. Body 2.0 will include artificial eyes with zoom capabilities, infrared sensors, and night vision will be possible. And the prosthetic limbs of the future will be even more flexible and powerful than our original organic limbs that we have today. And if you think Inception was just a movie, MIT scientists have implanted memories into mice. They've isolated an individual memory in a mouse's brain and induced recall of that memory by forcing those neurons to fire. And researchers have also been able to pinpoint memories and erase them, eliminating them without affecting other memories. Computer chips won't just be in your laptop or in your phone. Doctors will implant them in our brains. And Michio Kaku describes brain implants as your very own augmented mind. And this is the beginning of the brain net, a possible successor to the internet, a form of virtual telepathy that will allow you to create music, drive a car, communicate with other people, and even surf the web at the speed of thought. Movies will no longer be these two-dimensional slate tablets that you look into and blast sound at you. They'll be fully immersive experiences, complete with feeling and emotion the way the director originally intended. Everything is stored, every memory recorded, and available on a cloud service. And mind uploading will allow your friends to share their digital vacation experiences that never actually took place. It all just happened in their mind. Similar to Total Recall. The primary goal of transhumanism is to try to overcome um, biological death. And there's a number of methods to do that. You can do that through either, um, for example, 3D printing new organs, organ failure being one of the main reasons people die. You can uh, change your genetic structure and try to make it so you can stop aging. Or you can maybe even do you know, pretty science fiction-y things like upload yourself into a machine. There's a number of methods that transhumanists are approaching this problem of death. Um, but, um, you know, they're all ways to try to essentially make it so that we don't have to die. I'm an atheist. Uh, I absolutely know for a fact God doesn't exist. Transhumanism is a good thing. It's not a religious thing. It's not a, even a philosophical thing. It's, uh, as, a, as one of our advisors at the Transhumanist Party said the other day, she said, it's common sense. Transhumanism is just plain common sense. It's interesting. I hope that changes your mind about being half machine and half human. I don't think it's a very good idea at all. At all. Yeah, just, you know, just giving you some food for thought. Things to think about and things that will hopefully assist in your journey of finding yourself. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Be well.